Hi Legionnaires, Steve Cox here with you once again from High Tech Legion. Um, I was really excited the other day when I heard that I was getting a new case to do a review on. Uh, it's a mid-tower gaming case and uh, I've been looking forward to getting it. So I got it. It is the Sumo Omega mid-tower gaming case from Gigabyte. Now, Gigabyte is a company that I've been a fan of for a couple years now. Um, even long before I started doing reviews, I had bought one of their graphics cards and it was just exceptional. Um, really look forward to opening up the box, show you the components that come with it, do some benchmarking and uh, temperature control tests to make sure that cooling is good, and uh, just show you some of the features and some of the new, new things that come with this case. take a moment and take a better look at the box. Uh, you can see the box has really nice graphics on it. Um, it's a good looking box. Big picture of the case here so you know what you're going to get. You know what it looks like. The name of the case, Sumo Omega, has a slogan here, winning is all that matters. I agree. Has their name, Gigabyte, on the back of the box. Has a similar graphic from a slightly different angle. Again, the name and the slogan, winning is all that matters, and then the product features, and it runs through some of the uh, main features of it, the unique side and front panel design uh, with the large 20 centimeter, 200 millimeter fan, um, the dust filters that are on every intake fan on this case has a, uh, its own individual dust filter, and they're all easily removable. You don't have to take it apart to get to them. They just slide right out. You can blow them off and clean them. That's actually really nice. I've really enjoyed that, that part of it a lot. Inside the box, in one of the drive trays, you will find this box. And inside this white box, I've already dumped out its components. Whoops. It comes with a Velcro strip to tie down wires. It also has... A, quite a few twist ties. I want to say about 10 twist ties. And then of course your screw package and it comes with a motherboard error message speaker inside that package. And it comes with these little paper washers for the motherboard uh, screws. And it comes with a package of little rubber grommets. They punch right out of these little cards and there'll be uh, little rubber washers or grommets and it comes with these additional uh, fan filters the hard drive trays are able to receive 80 or 90 millimeter fans um, hence the design on the hard drive tray with a open circular bottom uh, the fans mount into the screw holes here and they're all labeled very nicely of course, it is a 3.5 and 2.5 inch hard drive uh, slide-in tray. You can see it's toolless, and I show more of that later inside the actual case during the build. I wanted to get you guys in here with me while I was uh, doing the install. Show how nice it is. The case is uh, for a smaller, for a mid-sized case. It actually seems to leave me plenty of room. Uh, I've got the power supply in. I've got the motherboard in got the water cooler here but not attached yet. I'm going to drop in another fan for a push-pull setup. Get it in back here. Everything fits in beautifully. Um, once I get that fan and the radiator on there you'll be able to see it's going to be pretty close and a little bit tight but uh, realistically still plenty of room you can see that there. I'll just hold that in place for a moment and show. Uh, you know, my hoses aren't bunched up too tight. They've got a nice curve to them, so the liquid flows easily. Uh, you can see on this side, you're going to have plenty of room for your cables to come in. Uh, and, of course, lots and lots of drive space. I'll probably end up removing one of these drive bays 
it just slides right out except I only have one hand to do it with currently uh, let me set that for a moment see how easily that comes out and leaves room so that realistically if you wanted to if you had custom water cooling uh, you know you could set it up on the front or on the top wherever you needed of course there are grommets in the back side here four holes and four grommets for external water cooling if I wanted to place the radiators on top or hanging down the back um, lots and lots of options with this case with this case okay so the build is coming right along but I just ran across uh, what I believe is going to prove to be a minor hitch uh, for some people most driving closures that I have seen and used end just short of the end of the drive which allows for easy attachment of the power and SATA cables so that the wire is not in the way but in this one you can see it overlaps quite a bit there are no other positional options there are some for the regular hard drive and some for eight and nine centimeter fans um, which could be pretty nice I mean if you put a fan on your hard drives uh, that's what that's for you can mount fans in here I don't believe I have a fan of that size or I would install it if I can dig one up I will just to show you guys uh, the point I'm making is you're gonna have to have pretty flat wires even with these flat modular cables you can see when I actually plug that in that does put strain on the wire itself which in turn puts strain on the uh, solid state drive. As you can see the Sumo Omega by Gigabyte has an unprecedented amount of uh, cable management. Um, they have all of their own cables already routed from the top panel where it has the hot swap hard drive slot and all of your switching and um, USB ports, power switches, reset switches. From there you have this channel that has all these locking mechanisms that open and close all the way up and down the thing. And that's really nice. It has extra rear fan. I didn't use it because mine attaches to this motherboard. Um, but plenty of fan... Uh, plenty of fan plugs plenty of extra molex plugs built in this will provide uh, from the power supply this will provide power to all the different buttons and switches to the top the fan controllers um, you know it's got a, a individual controls for the front top and rear fans and then again the the side panel let me bring that in the side panel itself this goes on the other side but the side panel itself has that huge 200 millimeter fan um, with its own switch its own speed control there and that's pretty nice so you'll be able to turn all your fans down during idle times or, or you know simple browsing and then crank them up for gaming to uh, optimize temperatures So my final thoughts on the Gigabyte Sumo Omega Mid-Tower Gaming Case are it's a pretty good case, it's a good solid case, well built um, for the most part. It has a lot of really great innovations that I think are going to become the standard. Uh, it won't be long before just about every case has these features built into it. Um, some of them I think were not utilized as well as they could have been. Um, the track in the back where the wires go, um, all the different extra wires for all the different fans, all the Molex cables, things like that were a little detrimental. Um, the basic design of the uh, HDD trays I showed earlier in the video, you know, not really fitting an SSD very well. 
things like that, that's something that some engineer somewhere should have caught. Um, other than little things like that, I mean, just just uh, not not game breaking. You know, they they're not going to prevent anyone from using it. Uh, like I say, it's a great case with some great design, and it really looks good. Sitting there on my desk, all lit up, fans going. Uh, it's really a beautiful case. Um, again, it's just there were some things that I felt like were not really used very well. Um, so for that, I'm going to give it a silver award. Um, I would have liked to give it better. I've been a big fan of Gigabyte for many years. Um, this is really the first thing I've seen that I was even remotely disappointed in. Uh, but other than that, I mean, it's, it really is still a great case, don't get me wrong. Um, but when I saw some of the features and some of the new innovations, and then I saw how they were implemented, I felt like, I just felt like it could have been done better. You should join us on our forums at www.hitechlegion.com. You should uh, join us on Facebook and like our page. And you should follow us on Twitter for daily and regular updates.